Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back for some more EVE Online. I'm doing some more hunting in the hunt and well, if a Tick 1 destroyer doesn't really hold its own all that well, let's try a Tick 2 destroyer. Here is a Dragoon that should be pretty good I think. Um, in fact, I already ran uh, one of these sites with uh, the wrong uh, resistance profile. It worked out, was pretty iffy in the second room. That is still a lot of damage and I mean, the enemy is just too fast and god damn it. I was hoping to show you guys the entire first room, but uh, it looks like a lot of stuff's already done here. Let's maybe go to the other side and uh, see, well, not like that of course, <laughs> here they are. So let's uh, start moving, let's start ripping, let's start using our missiles. Couple volleys again to try and get their attention so that uh, they, they don't like drones. So you gotta be careful with that. And uh, let's go, let's take that Cormoran down. Now this one is cap stable, so we should be absolutely fine when it comes to ripping. Next up here we get a worm. Oh, and again, look at how much they really don't like my drones they're already going after them and uh, is there a whip amongst them let's return this guy to drone bay he's already in armor yet again damn this is bad okay let's go 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 keep hitting that and then we take the Korax down and then we'll take a look at the uh, at the other side here see if there is uh, a full room to do because I, I do want to show you guys basically if the uh, ship can handle uh, a full uh, a full clear of this hunt outpost so off we go we might come back here if we want to but I, I only have one key with me and uh, there's apparently I, I don't know it's maybe a bug or it's intended but if you're scrammed you want to try to use the gate you use up a key uh, oh, you're not going through and uh, your key is gone um, so accidentally spamming stuff could be very costly and let's go through this acceleration gate Let's see what we got here Restart the music and hopefully it's a fresh one. I Do love this ship. Yep, and it does look like it's a fresh one I'm not seeing any wrecks and uh, we are greeted by quite uh, a number of ships here, although they're much smaller that's the effect so we're gonna start wrapping right away let's attack that condor and well i'm gonna i'm gonna just use my um my drones right off the bat as well if they if they can take a little bit of heat off of my ship i am absolutely fine with that cormorant next let's go 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 one missiles incoming and we are being Cap drained as well by these griffins. So I want to hit that next. Let's return this drone to drone bay. That is, of course, being a little bit of a distraction. So you can clearly see that that helps with the tanking if they're going after one of those. Uh, next up, they choose the Kestrel. That is fine. Let's set our orbit here. Orbit at 2,500 meters. And again, return. Return. The DPS should be going down. So if we want to, we can save a little bit of cap as well. Another worm as the next target. Let's go. Let's see if my missiles and two of my drones can handle a worm here. We don't have any. And they're going after the next one as well. Well, I don't mind. Let's take this one off the field as well. It's a really good test to see how the DPS holds up. Because um, it's not... In fact, I'm going to try to take that last worm without um, any drones. Let's see if it does that with just a missile. So uh, I think they're shield fit. So they will see a little bit of shield regen. Yeah, in fact, you can see that here, 70% again. But we get them down into 30% with the second missile volley. And ooh, more stuff coming in, a lot of stuff coming in already. Okay, interesting. <laughs> they really don't like us here. That means that we're gonna have to cut our experiment a little bit short because that's a lot of incoming. Let's uh, use the drones again and speed this up. But I, I'm pretty confident that we could break this uh, with... Go, go, go. Take the next one. Uh, that we could break this with um, just our missiles. 
So I'd say that we are looking pretty decent on the damage. Drones are definitely doing a lot of damage as well. You see that these small targets get cleaned up. And well, we, we take a decent beating. But look at that. My armor ripper just keeps going. We're going after another one of my... Both of my drones here now. Uh, return. Return. Quite a bit of micromanagement to do. Uh, but I feel a, a lot better than... Uh, in, in a tech one um, destroyer here just because of the much more uh, capable tanking that we're seeing here and so again they really don't like us we're gonna take this guy down with a final missile volley let's make sure that they try and target me again there we go and we're still tanking this no problem next up we've got a Kestrel they are full on me Let's bring him out again. If that's the way you want to play it, you guristas bastards. That's the way we'll play it. That is fine. <laughs> You're next. Next Kestrel. You are gone. Next Korax. So that's the destroyer. Let's see how my drones do here. One volley. His shields are almost gone. I mean, the combination is just the best, of course. Add in a big punch from the missiles. And that one goes down. Return to drone bay. So we don't get aggroed. The gate is still not open. But we are fine. We could do a quick reload as well. Well, it's not that fast. These are just regular light missile launchers. But they're pretty consistent. Um, and yeah, the staying power lies with the tank and the capacitor. Next up here, we get... Well, that Griffin... For the um, for the cap is bad news, of course. And we get more on us. All right, let's go. Missiles are going. I think we get everything on us. If uh, lots of people run these in Kikimoras, I think they are going to be really good for that as well because of their perfect damage type. Uh, but honestly, this is doing the job at least here in the first room so far, quite effectively, I would say. We see a little bit of switching happening for sure. Oh my god, they really don't like the drones. Let's go after the next one. Return this guy. Okay, another worm. And there we go. Another one being targeted. They really, really don't like my drones. But it's already too late, right? It means that they're not doing enough damage to me anymore. And... Um, uh, they, they won't break me. So you, you can. It, it slows you down. And oof, look at that. Return to drone bay. If they get webbed as well. Then you're in trouble. Let's return all of them then. Since. They really don't like my drones. And oh man. How the hell. are Look at those shields. Is that reps from the Bantam or something? That's actually impressive. Look at that. I mean we broke it. Uh, through it. Uh, but so that was probably the, the Bantam that was doing the repping. So he might just be a, a primary target. And look at those poor drones suffering from everything that's happening here. That's an important lesson learned here. Um, will this unlock the gate? Let's hope so. I'm actually going to start getting closer to that. So that if it does unlock, I can try to take it right away. Return to drone bay. And that's still a no. Let's get back on that orbit then. So we still have another wave to go. All right. Let's see what you can throw at me. And uh, yeah, look at this. We are at 60% uh, capacitor and we are cap stable. So that's a very strong one they do. Uh, you know, neutralize some of your capacitor. But I feel like right now I can basically keep this armor wrapper up and running. And same with this afterburner. And we should be fine. All right, and we get a cruiser in this one. So sm some small stuff, which I'll want to take care of first. Any bantams in here? Not that I'm seeing. That's good news, I would say. All right, let's get that condor down. Try not to uh, split my damage too much. And I'm basically keep an eye on what they are fire come on oh man lots of incoming damage is that all from that blackbird could be oh probably because of the web as well which means that i'm gonna be really slow 
But they are so far... St oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely what's happening. Still, I feel like we're doing all right. Next up, let's get that blackbird down then. Let's see how much it takes. Okay. That, I mean... Those shields go down decently quickly, but look at my armor. Down to 65%, probably because I'm webbed as well. Who the hell is doing that? That condor is still webbing me. Okay, um, if you don't have Omega skills and things like that, uh, I do think you got to be a little bit uh, careful here and, and definitely learn all of these targets, what you need to prioritize. If I'd taken the web down first, uh, we would have basically been in a much better spot. So let's go like that. Let's do a quick reload. And uh, let's see if we can get through this gate before we get scrammed by other stuff. We're in range. Room number two. The real challenge, of course. Uh, basically, unless you're in like a super fast frigate, I don't think you can escape this thing's uh, weapon scram. What the hell is happening in... Um <laughs> Someone is not happy with how that went in uh, in the room. Well, all right. Here it is. Automated something. Yeah, look at that. 5,000. I mean, there's absolutely nothing I can do. So we're just going to start throwing some missiles at it. Add in the drone damage. Go, go, go. F to pay respects. And then let's take a look here. Oh, well, look at that. And that hit half armor already. At least its shields are going down. And we get a couple reps in before it hits us with a big one again. Like that. And by this time he's in structure. And then he goes down. So that's pretty good. Let's return to drone bay. And let's see if we are rewarded with this or not. I'm not sure what the problem is there, but that is absolutely fine. I got what I wanted out of this and we get another Gecko Blueprint. That is uh, very, very, very lucky, I must say, which is uh, nice, of course. I get another Gecko Blueprint. I'm going to leave this... Uh, oh, it's true March merchant farmer i think he was in another site with me as well anyways let's move on to ssama this is gonna be my hunt ship honestly um really good stuff the uh the fit will be in the description i think you can make it even better with uh, with the rigs here that you could probably put in some arm rigs but this did the job very well i felt really safe super cap stable and uh, just handle the site without any real problems the dragoon is my option. Thank you very much for watching guys and as always I'll see you next time.